The latest dust-up started when the famous chef Jose Andres, who's from Spain, decided to pull the plug on a restaurant he was planning for Trump's new D.C. hotel after Trump slammed Mexicans in his campaign kickoff speech. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. The chef's lawyer said Trump's comments made it difficult to hire Hispanic employees to work in what had been planned as a Spanish restaurant. The conflict between the two picked up speed on the campaign trail when Andres stumped for Hillary Clinton. We are not supposed to mention him until he doesn't apologize to every Latino, to every Mexican, to every woman, to every veteran, and to any person that he has insulted. His remarks coming the very same day that Donald Trump was in Washington, D.C., opening his new hotel. I'm also honored to have a chance to thank the incredible team of people who brought our vision for Washington's historic old post office to life. Can you raise your right hand? Yes. Trump was deposed in June in a similar lawsuit with Andres' business partner, restaurateur Jeffrey Zakarian. I get a lot of bad publicity because of the way they handled it. They grandstanded. I think we were hurt by the way they did it. Trump's lawyers tried unsuccessfully to limit questioning of Trump in this deposition to two hours, arguing in court filings that he's the president-elect. It is not an overstatement that he is extremely busy handling matters of very significant public importance. But Judge Jennifer DeToro ruled that a limit on Trump's deposition could be unfair to the chef's legal team as it prepares for trial. Andres, for his part, has suggested that he'd like to settle the fight out of court, tweeting this week, Mr. At Real Donald Trump, can we end our lawsuits and we donate money to a veteran's NGO to celebrate? Why keep litigating? Let's both of us win. I don't want to settle cases when we're right. I don't believe in it. And when you start settling cases, you know what happens? Everybody sues you. Besides the Andres case, there are dozens of other pending lawsuits against Trump, from one involving a Republican consultant who claims tweets from Trump calling her a real dummy ruined her reputation, to one from protesters claiming a security team assaulted them at Trump Tower last year. But the most discussed? Trump University. The school had 98% approval rating. But you had an attorney that felt, oh, maybe I can sue Trump and get something. Last month, Trump agreed to pay $25 million to settle a series of lawsuits out of court against his now defunct real estate training program. Joe John, CNN, Washington.